what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Colin Kaepernick is busting back. With NFL owners slated to meet in a matter of days for the fall meetings, free agent quarterback Colin Kaepernick has filed a grievance against the league stemming from his lack of employment. This says his attorney, Mark Garagos. In the grievance, uh, Kaepernick's attorneys are seeking expedited discovery, including depositions and document production. Now, that's an immense request because uh, if granted, he would seek to draw out any informational exchanges that league employees, owners, and even front offices had about Kaepernick. So what exactly is in this grievance? Glad you asked. The grievance is expected to allege that NFL teams, specifically owners, have worked in unison to keep Kaepernick out of the league, violating the collective bargaining agreement between the NFL and Players Union. The grievance has been filed under the terms of the CBA that was signed by the league and the NFL Players Association in 2011. Despite leading the 49ers to a Super Bowl following the 2012 season, Colin Kaepernick remains unsigned since he opted out of his contract in March. Now, here's the deal. A lot of people are pointing toward that March contract his exiting of that contract in March. But the deal is this. The 49ers had planned to get rid of him anyway. They were planning to release him, so he basically just beat them to the punch. So when you hear people say, well, he opted out. I mean, what do you do? You quit and then you try to sue your employee? No, that's not how it went. So some of y'all need to do your homework before you start commenting on these type of situations. The NFL, they're a bunch of hypocrites. They try to play this game like they got the players back and they have freedom of speech and all of that stuff. Let me tell you something, man. All these dudes care about is getting to that money. And they're feeling the punch right now. They're feeling it. They leaning all over the ropes right now. They about to get a knockout blow if they don't come on with it real soon. Now, I remember back in 1965, that was the, what was it? The, I think the AFL, they boycotted a game. They, they boycotted back in 1965. And they were successful. That was a lynching, if I have the story right. That was a lynching. It was supposed to be a game played in New Orleans. This is before New Orleans had a football team and they refused to play. That was a lynching in New Orleans. They refused to play. So they moved the game to Houston. Only about 15,000 people showed up, but the game was moved to Houston because the players said, we're not going to play. If the players don't play, you have no lead. Nobody's going to watch a bunch of second, third stream, a, a second and third stream players play the game of football. They want to see the stars. The league would have no choice. The owners would have to bow down. This is what I don't get with these players. Man, have a backbone. Where your backbone? What are your children going to say about you 20 years from now? Daddy stood up on principle or daddy was a spineless coward. He had an opportunity to say something, to do something, to get on the right side of history, and he blew it. Shame on daddy. My daddy is a sucker. I can guarantee you a lot of those kids going to look back at that and say, man, psh, you be trying to tell your kid to stand up for something, stand up for themselves. They're gonna, well, what about you, Dad? You ain't stand up for nothing. You're a sucker. You're trying to tell me to stand up. Got to look back, man. You got you to, if, if you don't do it for yourself, you got to do it for your children. If you don't do it for your children, 
You got to do it for somebody. It's got to be bigger than yourself. And some of these dudes, they can't see it. They just want the money, money, money. And some of y'all that agree with them standing up for that anthem, you have no principle. Because I can guarantee you, if you understood the words to that anthem and you had any type of principle, any type of decency about yourself, you would not stand for that flag. You would not stand for the plan of the national anthem. Not when it calls for the slayings of black people. You wouldn't stand. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't expect anybody else to do it. You wouldn't call for anybody. You wouldn't respect anybody that did it. I don't give a damn what your ethnicity is. You wouldn't respect one person that did it. And the thing is, is that the people that aren't black, that's Riding on the people who are not standing, they don't respect them anyway. They still don't respect them. They're standing, but they're like, yeah, good look, good boy, good boy. You do what Master Say do, good boy. That's how that go. They don't respect them at all. They, they want to control them. Get in your place. That's their mentality. How dare you have an opinion? You're lucky you're not a slave anymore. We freed you. What more do you want? Shut up. Be thankful. Be thankful that we enslaved your people and were kind enough to free them. Now, you shut up and be a good boy. You get on that field and you play. You do what we say, do, and you take this paycheck. And that paycheck should be enough to buy your soul. Buy any kind of principles or convictions that you possibly could muster up. This is how they control you. You want to control somebody in America? Give them some money. Man, people sell out their mama. The people send their mama to jail for a life sentence for some money. Some people don't care that the lyrics to the song includes anti-black sentiments. They don't care that Colin Kaepernick was protesting in the first place for equality, against police brutality, against the unlawful murdering of black people in America. They don't care about that. They, they don't care. All they care about is what makes them comfortable. All they care about is what they want. As long as you're not killing them, police are not killing them, man, they good. As long as it's not happening to them, they're good. But you've seen how they react when it does happen to them. They forget all of that talk about, well, let's see. We're going to have to see more evidence. Or, you know, well, the, the tape started uh, at this time. You know, let's see it from the beginning. You know, they want to know. They got all kind of excuses. They want all kind of explanations. But when does a black person get killed? Well, he should have just complied. That's it. Should have complied. That's it. Shouldn't have been... Uh, driving, shouldn't have had a, a record, shouldn't have had a previous record, uh, should, should have just listened to the officer. They don't care about nothing else. Damn all the details. It's straight up, should have just did whatever the officer said. Should have just not have been there. Should have not been breathing and he wouldn't have killed him. Shouldn't have been there. Oh, man, but you've seen how they do it. It's amazing. The hypocrisy is truly amazing. That's why I love what Cap is doing. Put it in their face. Hey, man, damn the NFL. It ain't nothing but a game. Damn the NFL and all the other sports, too, and all the other TV shows. I could boycott all of them. It wouldn't matter to me. Some of y'all ain't going to 
miss one episode of nothing. One game of nothing. I ain't finna sacrifice nothing. We ain't gonna change nothing. I ain't gonna change nothing. Can you imagine what would would have happened if Malcolm and, and, and Martin would have bought into those people that talk like that? They would have bought into that concept. It ain't gonna change nothing. But for those who think it ain't, hey, maybe need, maybe need to step up the pressure. Step it up. Do, some, do something else. What y'all want? What y'all looking for? Maybe need to give it to you another way. Maybe you'll respect that. <laughs> I know the NFL catching the blues right now. But something tells me that this grievance is not going to be enough. One thing about it, this grievance has pretty much guaranteed that Cap will never work in the NFL again. I mean, stranger things have happened, but I don't think Cap will ever work in the NFL again because once you start litigation with your employers or potential employers, that's a, that's a wrap. That's it. That's it. No employer wants to give a check to somebody who's suing them. And, but he had no choice. They were not going to hire him. They were going to let him rot. Based on the way the NFL has responded to the five, 10, $20 billion that Cap has already cost or will cost them, I don't think they're smart enough to hire him. And that speaks volumes. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.